Magandang mapayapang hapon, Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at nanonood sa RHTV. Lalo na sa mga kasamahan nating alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Mga kaibigan, next weekend na po magbubukas ang espesyal na pagtatanghal ng Ballet Manila para sa pagtatapos ng aming 22nd performance season na Flights of Fantasy. Isang pre-Valentine production of classical and contemporary pieces ang hatid namin sa inyo sa Ballet and Ballads with our very special guest artist, Asia's Romantic Balladeer, Christian Bautista. Itatanghal din namin dito ang world premiere ng Aria, ang pinakabagong obra ng British choreographer na si Martin Lawrence. Kaya wag nyo pong palalampasin Ballet Manila's Ballet and Ballads with Christian Bautista at 8 p.m. on February 10 and 17 and at 3 p.m. on February 11 and 18 in Alio Theater. Para sa tickets, tumungo lamang sa mga Ticket World outlets. Mag-log in sa www.ticketworld.com.ph o kaya'y tumawag sa 891-9999. Samantala, sa hapong ito, kikilalanin natin ang isang pribadong organisasyon na ang layunin ay tulungan ang pamahalaan na magtaguyod ng mga public libraries sa mga maliliit na pamayanan sa loob at labas ng Pilipinas. Kaya't huwag kayong aalis kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan ang inihanda namin para sa inyo kasama ang founder at managing director ng Library Renewal Partnership na si Kintin Pastrana. Itinatag noong 2010 ang Library Renewal Partnership o LRP ay isang koalisyon ng mga tagapagtaguyod ng pagbasa. Binubuo ito ng mga publishers, librarians, educators, logistics partners, volunteers, donors at mismo mga komunidad. Pinagbuklod ng layuning magtaguyod ng mga community education centers sa buong Pilipinas, pati na rin sa mga karatig bansa. Binibigyan ng LRP ang mga komunidad ng kakayahang gawin ito sa pamamagitan ng public-private partnership approach kung saan sinusuportahan nito ang mga lokal na pamahalaan sa pagbukas ng mga pampublikong aklatan na naaayon sa batas, partikular sa ilalim ng Republic Act 7734. Tumutulong din ang LRP na magbigay ng karagdagang educational materials, computers, reading programs, at training para palakasin ang educational empowerment sa Pilipinas. Sa kasalukuyan, nakapagpagawa na ang Library Renewal Partnership na mahigit sa walong daang aklatan, hindi lamang sa Pilipinas, kundi pati na rin sa Bhutan, India, Thailand at Indonesia. Layunin itong makaabot ang isang libong public libraries bago matapos ang 2019. Isang mainit na pagsalubong ang hatid ng Art to Art sa founder at managing director ng Library Renewal Partnership na si Ginoong Kintin Pastrana. Magandang hapon, Kintin, and welcome to Art to Art. Lisa, magandang hapon po sa inyo, especially sa mga taga-subaybay niyo dito sa Art Start. So, how does it feel? The the tables are turned now. Kasi parang kailan lang, ini-interview mo ako para sa iyong programa for Bloomberg TV. Yes, Lisa. About the business side of Ballet Manila. Yes, Lisa, that was thought leaders and we were our, you know, you were our final guest for the season. We were very happy to have you on board and I learned a lot from the interview. And now I'm very intimidated. Ako naman yung interview niyo. So, baliktaran na tayo. Oo nga, baliktaran na. Pero I'm very excited about interviewing you about your own passion project, Library Renewal Partnership. Well, so today, the tables are turned. How does it feel? Actually, Um, we are now uh, going into your passion project, which is a library renewal partnership. Um, so what's the goal of library renewal partnership? Yeah. Lisa, thank you first of all for giving me the opportunity para may share natin sa Madla yung uh, layunin ng library renewal, renewal mm -hmm. partnership, which mm -hmm. is uh, simply to really empower Filipinas through education. Mm -hmm. si Gato Cerezal was saying, uh, who wrote once that uh, before nationhood, the Filipino need We need an educated citizenry before the Philippines becomes a true nation. So yun po yung layunin ng library renewal partnership. 
is to uh, democratize yung education mm -hmm. uh, sa buong Pilipinas and sa Asia. In fact, we're in expanding to Asia right now. Mm -hmm. uh, dahil yung fundamental building blocks ng citizenship, empowerment, kung papasok ka sa negosyo, mm -hmm. is really reading and learning. Mm -hmm. And itong Library Renewal Partnership is focused on public libraries. Okay. Dahil... Uh, Wala halos tayong mga public libraries dito sa Pilipinas. Tama po yun. In uh -oh. fact, uh, out of the 41,000... Uh, uh, units of public libraries, we only have around less than 2,000. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a very, very low compliance rate. Mm -hmm. uh, masakla po yun because what happens is, since 1994, may batas na actually na, na nagmamandato sa local government mm -hmm. to build libraries. Ah. Uh, Republic Act 7743, which is okay. an act to require congressional, uh, provincial, city, municipal, and barangay libraries. Mm. But as many laws in the Philippines are, mm -hmm. maganda yung intention, mm -hmm. uh, layunin, pero walang pondo. Mm. Which is where we come in. We okay. can help uh, build public libraries according to the law by uh, working with yung mga literacy champions, yung mga mm -hmm. bookstores, publishers, mm -hmm. volunteers, librarians. At yun mm -hmm. po yung ginagawa po namin is uh, nagsasama-sama kami ng mga ibang mga partners. Mm -hmm. Nagahanap kami ng communities na handa ng uh, makapagtayo ng libraries and tinatayo namin yung library mismo. Ah, okay. Uh, so, um, yung you partner with the community. Yes. Uh, so, paano nyo pinipili kung sino yung community na ready nang magkaroon ng pri uh, it's a, public library? It's a very good question, Lisa. Uh -huh. Kasi yung sa amin kasi, yung gusto namin na sustainable yung mga libraries. In mm -hmm. fact, to this date, Wala, kami, wala pa kami nasasarang libraries. Most of them are growing, in fact. Mm -hmm. And the way we do that is, we reach out to the local government. Sila mm -hmm. kasi po yung may mandato na magtayo ng library, they have to follow the law. Mm -hmm. And if there is an interest and there's a lack of funding, that's already a good start for us. Mm -hmm. Dahil yung pinaka mahal na, pinaka expensive na bahagi ng library, yung silitaklatan, is yung pwesto mismo. Hmm. It has to be located in a very nice place na hindi mababaha. You mean yung parang yung infrastructure? Yung infrastructure, no? yung oh, oh. sentro ng bayan. Hmm. And the biggest owner, the best owner of that property is the LGU usually, hmm. sa munisipyo, hmm. sa barangay hall. Hmm. So yung ginagawa namin is to work with architects and to work with uh, yung LGU mismo is hmm. to repurpose the room itself. Hmm. And if they signify na gusto nila ng library or they mm -hmm. want to comply with the law mm -hmm. uh, at nagkukulang lang sila sa mga books or computers, mm -hmm. that's where we come in. So, mm -hmm. meron, ng, parang, may, meron ng hunger for the library itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, we usually reach out to them, either Facebook is very, or social mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of LGUs are actually on social media right mm -hmm. now. You'll mm -hmm. see a lot of municipalities mm -hmm. and governments. And we reach out to them or sometimes they reach out to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Pero in your experience, nasa kultura ba natin ang magpunta sa isang public library, kumuha ng aklat, at lalong-lalo na magsoli ng aklat pagkatapos mabasa ito. Uh, oh, magandang katanungan yun. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, it starts, we're on the other side of it. We're a very mm -hmm. good storytelling culture. Diba? Okay. From art, from your ballets, mm -hmm. from from even chismis. The mm -hmm. Filipino is a very good storytelling uh, culture. Mm -hmm. um, yung issue nga lang dyan is the other side of it is the reading. Mm -hmm. So, yung karanasan namin is for as long as may opportunity sila or may pagkakataon sila magbasa, they will take advantage of it. Mm. Unfortunately nga lang is, there's not a lot of infrastructure or libraries around there. So yung ginawa namin, yung unang library namin in 2009, experiment po yun. I mm -hmm. did a paper on public libraries in the Philippines. Okay. So sinabi ko, sigara, let's put it into practice. Mm. So we worked with the LGU, we put up a library, and we thought, papasaba to or hindi siya, ano, hindi siya magsasucceed. And mm -hmm. true enough, after three months, mm -hmm. A lot of people came in to mm -hmm. the library. They patronized it. So, parang bago siyang experience mm -hmm. dahil wala pa silang ganun uh, for one generation. The mm -hmm. old library closed down. Mm -hmm. And now, a new generation was experiencing a library na libre. Mm -hmm. uh, maaliwalas. Mm -hmm. It's very cold because mm -hmm. may aircon or may electric fan. And they were able to read. Mm -hmm. And because of that experience, lumago yung readership in Kalibo Aklan. Mm -hmm. And we felt I think so, yung first library mo was in Kalibo? Yes. Man. It was uh -huh. my hometown, so it was okay. easy to make mistakes. Uh -huh. So, at that time, medyo bagito pa ka rin kami. We were trying to experiment. Do we bring the books in front of the U.S.? Mm -hmm. um, how do we work with the local government? Mm -hmm. It took us a year and a half to build the library. We worked with the local government to find mm -hmm. the space. Mm -hmm. And na repurpose namin yun. Mm -hmm. But the important part was really, nung tinayo na yung library, mm -hmm. we were worried na walang papasok, mm -hmm. walang mag-patronize ng library. Mm -hmm. And true enough, it was very happy experience because mm -hmm. 
the first day alang alone, there was a, a lot of kids coming in after school, mm-hmm. yung mga veterano, yung Uh-oh. mga police who were in the other side of the municipio, you would to come up uh-huh. and read. Uh-huh. And that to us was a good experience uh-huh. na um, there is going to be a readership culture okay. for as long as you build something. Yes. Parang sinasabi sa Field of Dreams, you build it and they will come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nga no, man. <laughs> you build it and yes. they and will come. And that's our experience come. so far oh. with all the other libraries we've built since. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's so a first, hunger, yeah. Your first library was in Kalibo Aklan yes. in 2009? Yes, in 2009. Yeah, 2009. Yes. Uh, ever since then, how how much have you grown? Actually, uh, by leaps and bounds. Uh-huh. Uh, in fact, yung nangyari nun, it's the first few years after, we started very slow. Kasi pinag-aralan namin yung mga mali namin, how do we do it better, mm-hmm. how to source books from the Philippines mismo. Kasi mas maganda nga na local content, mm-hmm. yung, ano, yung scene, yung kultura, local language, mm-hmm. we try to do more books. So, mm-hmm. we took a break for a while, for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Uh, binago namin yung modelo namin. And then, yung approach namin improved. And mm-hmm. since then, we've grown to, now, as of December 31, 800 libraries na from our... 800 yes. libraries. Uh, Lahat ito nasa Pilipinas o sa ibang bansa? Yes, uh, uh-huh. good question. We started uh, mostly in the Philippines mm-hmm. and then because of social media, uh, napansin na mga ibang bansa, mm-hmm. mga ibang community advocates dun. So we're now replicating it dun sa Kingdom of Bhutan. Mm-hmm. We have one in Tamil Nadu, India. Mm-hmm. And then we're setting up one in Bangkok, I think this March also. Mm-hmm. And that's because of the power of the internet mm-hmm. and yung experience, yung karanasan mismo. Mm-hmm. But most of our priority talaga is in local communities, mm-hmm. especially the poorest of the poor communities, okay. which need more education. Uh-huh. And who curates these libraries? Sino yung namimili ng kung ano yung mga libro, kung anong lengguahe? I mean, like, sa Kalibo Aklan ba? Ang, ano yung percentage na books in English yes. o kaya books in the local language or books in Filipino or yes. Tagalog? Yes. So the curation is very important. Dahil mm. kung hindi uh, sapat yung binibigay nyo sa kanila or mm-hmm. hindi ka, hindi, you know, it doesn't fit yung gusto nila, it mm-hmm. will not succeed. Mm-hmm. So, yung ginagawa namin is we work with the local librarian. Mm-hmm. If there's no local librarian, we work with a librarian from one of our partners, which is a public library association group, mm-hmm. na sila mismo yung nagkakonsult sa community mm-hmm. kung ano yung gusto nila. Mm-hmm. And so, it's very community-driven. And usually, the content is, siguro, ka, sabihin natin, kalahating local language or local published, mm-hmm. kalahating important. Kasi mm-hmm. a lot of uh, a lot of Filipinos also want to learn what's out going outside the world. So, mm-hmm. may, may halo siya. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. usually, that is what we found in the libraries. Mm-hmm. And nagagaling yung demand mismo, mm-hmm. or yung mm-hmm. demand to curate uh, the content from mm-hmm. the local communities mismo. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. And yung sa infrastructure ng library, is it n- designed na parang Kasi nakapunta din ako sa Estados Unidos na nakita ko yung mga public libraries doon na ang hahaba na mga lamesa, yes. you know, ang lahat ng mga libro nasa side lang pero may mga open spaces, spaces na talagang yes. uh, very very ano naman, very inviting din at yes. very conducive for just staying the whole afternoon at ba- basa ka lang ng basa. And can you take out the book, bring it home and then bring it back? Yes. And um, how Ginagawa ba ito? No? Kasi ang mga Pilipino, alam ko, minsan hindi nagsusole. Eh, pag hin- pag <laughs> wala sa kotor. Eh. Part of the story, we're, we're uh, now also. So, uh-huh. I, I'll tell you a story about the returning of the books. Okay. Ito. It's a very interesting story. Uh-huh. Doon po mismo sa Kalibo, Oklan. We, we heard that recently from uh-huh. our librarians. Pero in terms of the library itself, mm. yeah, we each library is very different, mm. which also reflects the fact that yung mga community mismo ang nagdidictate kung gano'n uh, kaiba yung pag-construct ng library. So, mm-hmm. one library will look like um, a children's room mm-hmm. with books. Yung iba naman, like for example, sa Quezon City, may computer sila kasi mas, mas gusto nila ng e-book. So, mm-hmm. most libraries are um, driven by kung ano yung kursonado ng community. Mm-hmm. Uh, no one library, no library is the same as the other library, which okay. is nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So, it reflects the local demand. But what you'll find is a very inviting space. Okay na maliwala siya. Um, usually, it's on the second floor dahil, mm-hmm. dahil sa climate change, we mm-hmm. have to put it in an elevated area. Mm-hmm. And there's a good combination now of uh, physical books mm-hmm. and e-books. Mm-hmm. And some libraries now have a children's section. I mean, mga puzzle mats sa, mm-hmm. sa, sa, sa sahig. Mm-hmm. So, we found that the community will dictate kung ano yung gusto nila. Mm-hmm. We, ma- we require siguro a minimum of around 50 square meters para at least yung combination ng adult section children's section, 
and other spaces, mm -hmm. uh, yung mahabang mesa na mm -hmm. pwedeng gawing multi-purpose, mm -hmm. yun yung nangyayari sa mga iba't ibang libraries. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll see a combination of that. Okay. In fact, one of the libraries we're helping dun sa Balanga Bataan, which is an education center for mm -hmm. Central Zone, mm -hmm. actually has a maker space. Yung mga entrepreneurs na nakikita natin ngayon sa Estados Unidos nga mm -hmm. na may mga rooms dun na ginagawa nila para sa mga entrepreneurs na gustong gumawa ng bagong negosyo. Mm -hmm. And that's the new evolution. Nakikita mm -hmm. rin natin dito na as a public space, after office hours, since yung mga new businesses have a hard time finding a place na mura, mm. uh, they will go there mm -hmm. and, and use it as an entrepreneurial oh, space. Wow. So, so talagang nagiging isang community center? Yes. Na, no? oh, yes. Oh, oh. In fact, that's why nga, we want to work with the local government dahil um, na, napaka-centralized yung location, napaka-maganda yung location ng mga libraries mm -hmm. nila. So with that, mas mm -hmm. maraming dadayo sa library, whether mm -hmm. you're a student, mm -hmm. a retiree, mm -hmm. uh, entrepreneur uh -huh. or okay. you know housewife who just wants to buy the time yes okay yes okay abangan natin yung kwento mo tungkol sa yes. borrowing culture yes. ng mga Pilipino at returning culture yes. ng mga Pilipino okay. marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan tungkol sa library renewal partnership kasama ang founder at managing director nito na si Kintin Pastrana dito pa rin sa Art to Art magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghala ng teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar sa musika. Matapos magtanghal sa Europa at Israel nitong nakaraang taon, nagbabalik Pilipinas ang Filipino tenor na si Arthur Espiritu para sa isang pre-Valentine concert. Pinamagatang A Night of Love. Mapapanood ito February 10, alas 7 ng gabi sa Ayala Museum, Makati Avenue, Makati City. Tampok ang mga opera arias at love duets. Kasama rin sa palabas ang mga batikang classical music artists na sina Stephanie Quintin at Meko Manlangit at pianist na sina Jib Ismail. Para sa ticket, tumawag sa Ticket World 891-9999 o sa Cultural Arts Events Organizer 7827164. Sa teatro, bilang pagbubukas ng kanilang 2018 season, iniahandog ng Repertory Philippines ang operatic farce na pinamagatang A Comedy of Tenors sa Onstage Theater Greenbelt 1, Makati City. Nagsimula noong January 26, mapapanood ito hanggang February 18 tuwing biyernes, Sabado at Linggo. Sa direksyon ni Miguel Fosman, ang dula ay nagtatampok kina Lawrence Martinez, Sheila Valderrama Martinez, Noel Rayos, Jeremy Domingo, Isa Liton, Arman Ferrer at Mika Pineda sa mga pangunahing papel. Para sa karagdagang detalye, tumawag 843-3570. Iniahandog naman ng Cultural Center of the Philippines ang mga pagtatanghal ng Unima Chinese Puppetry Groups February 8 at February 9, alas 7 ng gabi sa tanghalang Huseng Batute. Ito ay kinabibilangan ng Yang Zhu Puppetry Troop, Pingyang Puppetry Protection and Inheritance Center at Sichuan Huge Puppet Theater. Inaanyayahan din ng mga local puppeteers at performing artists na lumahok sa isang workshop. February 10 mula alauna hanggang alas 5 ng hapon, tanghalang Huseng Batute. Para sa tiket at iba pang detalye, tumawag sa CCP Cultural Exchange Department 832-1125, local 1708 or 1709. Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat Kasama ang balirina ng bayan si Lisa Makuha Art to Art Kasama pa rin natin ang founder at managing director ng Library Renewal Partnership na si Kintin Pastrana. Kintin, so may utang ka sa aming yes. kwento. <laughs> oh, babalik tayo sa, uh -oh. sa kwento na yun. Okay. So, yung experience namin sa Kalibo Aklan is mm -hmm. yung library nyan mismo nagsumbog sa akin. Sabi mm -hmm. niya, may nanghiram ng mga siguro mga 25 na libro. Mm -hmm. Hindi pa nila sinusuoli. Sabi ko naman sa kanya, kung hindi mo babawawin yun, it's a good sign na mm -hmm. may, may, you know, 
uhaw na uhaw for learning, hindi ba? Kahit mm-hmm. na hindi niya isinoli. But sabi niya, hindi, kasi nasa regulations namin, kaya kailangan isinoli yan. So, mm-hmm. I said, ano ang gagawin mo? Mm-hmm. Inaradyo ko siya. So, pumunta siya sa local radio station. <laughs> Sinumbungin niya yung pangalan. Uh-huh. <laughs> Inoutline niya yung mga libro. Uh-huh. And in one day, uh-huh. sinoli niya yung libro. Sinoli yung mga libro. Exactly. Uh-huh. So, in a, in a sense, uh, uh-huh. you're right. Uh, there is a culture na talagang uh, may pagka-entitled. Minsan, hmm. may mga tao. Or some of... Part of it is also dahil hindi nila alam yung mga patakaran. Mm-hmm, diba? So, mm-hmm. it's an education process for a librarian. Mm-hmm. In fact, yung librarian nga, nagiging entrepreneur yan because uh-huh. they have to find a creative way okay. to impose discipline mm-hmm. on the patrons of the library na mm-hmm. dapat tahimik lang. Mm-hmm. Pangalawa, magsuoli ka ng libro. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you know, kakaltasin ka ng penalty. Mm-hmm. So, it's a learning culture right mm-hmm. now. But what we've seen so far is mm-hmm. uh, sumusunod naman yung mga Pinoy, especially if you establish the rules and mm-hmm. you establish the rules and you establish the rules. So, okay. in that ex- example, we can see that yes, uh, in the beginning, uh-huh. may uh, nagka problema, but it's still there. And it's still there for people. Okay, so, of course, I go back to my first library experience. Yes. Usually, ito ay sa, as a student, no? and you go to your elementary school library and borrow a book. Uh, ang naalala ko noon sa aking paaralan ay uh, ang, ang isang reference book ay you can only borrow it for one week. Yes. Ang isang home reading or fiction, yun, hindi na reference book, is two weeks naman. Tapos meron kang library card yes. na merong picture, tapos may signature, ng, tapos may stamp, may stamp yung due yeah, date. Sa likod ng libro. Okay. Sa ligo, likod yeah. ng libro and yes. all of that. No? Na, now, of course, ang... Um, we're all into meron ng electronic tracking you know sometimes everything is already sina swipe na lang yes. yung student id you Uh-oh. know uh, para to, in order to track so ano ang sistema at ano ang mga patakaran at ano ang proseso ng pag-apply halimbawa para magkaroon ng isang library card for um your uh, 800 libraries all over the world yeah, yeah. Well, Lisa, <laughs> everything ha- There's a very basic minimum system na may uh-huh. library card system, may Dewey mm-hmm. Decimal. So, mm-hmm. Most of the librarians in the local government still use that. Mm-hmm. Pero thankfully, dahil sa innovations in technology, mm-hmm. some libraries are adopting na may mga online database na sila. So, mm-hmm. mas madaling mag-track mm-hmm. ng inventaryo sa library mismo because they have an online catalog. Mm-hmm. And that's from partners like yung Rizal Library ng Ateneo. May mm-hmm. nag-develop sila ng system na open source na pwedeng i-download yung card catalog ng system nila. So, that's, be- that's being done right now. Mm-hmm. Then, pangalawa, because we have a partnership with the National Library of the Philippines, mm-hmm. pag na-accredit yung mga bagong library sa kanila, mm-hmm. pumapasok sila sa database nila, which mm-hmm. then, it opens it up to the online database around the world. Okay. So, pagkada niya, sa so, nag-expand yung library nila, kahit na uh, konti lang yung pwesto nila, mm-hmm. or malit lang yung pwesto nila, nakakapag-access sa mga online resources. Mm-hmm. So, in that sense, yung mga technology is now coming in to track the books, mm-hmm. to be able to Uh, return the books mm-hmm. and to be able to demand. Kasi yung mga nangyayari dyan, minsan may hinihiling yung mga readers na gusto ko nito, gusto ko nyan. Mm-hmm. Like for example, a library in Benguet said, oh, gusto namin ng Harry Potter, gusto mm-hmm. namin ng Percy Jackson, gusto mm-hmm. namin ng, ng you know, mga ibang ano, um, mga libro. So, what happens is, nagkakaroon ng uh, proof of concept na may gustong mag-order ng ganyan. Tapos it makes it easier for us to go to our partners, mm-hmm. yung mga bookstores and yung mga publishers, mm-hmm. na yun mismo yung gusto nila. So mm-hmm. we're able to supply the demand mm-hmm. because may sistema na, na for monitoring demand. Yes. yes, okay. And do you, how do you make it sustainable? Do you have to raise funds to, you know, constantly raise funds ang, uh, in order to partner? For example, uh, um, magtatayo ka from scratch ng isang library. Mga, how much Um, I mean, money does that need in order ma- na magawa, you know, yung project na gano'n? Yeah, it's a good question, Lisa. So, it depends on what the local government needs. Kung wala silang pwesto, wala silang uh, kwarto, for example, na gaw- pwedeng gawing sa Lita Klatan, we have to build it from scratch. Mm-hmm. That average, based on an architect of ours na gumagawa ng design, is typically between 4 to 5 million pesos. Mm-hmm. And the books come up to between 1 to 2 million pesos. Mm-hmm. So, Thanks. that's not... That's not cheap. That's not cheap. Uh-oh. Thankfully, the local governments have a lot of space. Okay. So, yung munisipyo and barangay hall, it's a question of optimizing lang yan. For mm-hmm. example, may isang kwarto doon, nakatabi lang yung Picos machines. Mm-hmm. Sabi namin, itabi nyo lang yung Picos machines, gawa lang kayo ng Slida Klatan mm-hmm. shelves, mas, uh, mas optimize pa yung space na yan. At saka, mm-hmm. di ba, mas, your voters will be happier with you dahil you're using your public space. So, yung ginagawa namin is to convince 
the communities that we don't need to build the building mm -hmm. para hindi maging white elephant, hindi maging ano, uh, unsustainable. Then mm -hmm. second, pumipin mo kami ng MOA sa kanila na mm -hmm. for at least three years, kailangan mm -hmm. yung gampanan, yung gusto nyong i-commit sa library. So they will submit to us mm -hmm. parang business plan, simple business plan. Year one, year two, year three, mm -hmm. anong gagawin sa library. Mm -hmm. And based on that, yun yung uh, basihan namin to give them books. Mm -hmm. And that is continuing over time. So may governance agreement sa we reduce the cost by repurposing buildings. Okay. And I think the magic that happens, Lisa, is after the first year, mm -hmm. even if the mayor wants to turn, was for some reason, wants to close the library, hindi niya magagawa yun mm. because may mga pupunta sa library. So mm -hmm. he's going to lose votes okay. if he doesn't uh -huh. know. So there's a part of where you build it, they will come yeah. and they will sustain it mismo. Yes. Uh -huh. And after that, uh, and thankfully naman, hindi na tayo nauubusan ng mga libro dahil a lot of the libraries and um, other publishers have now been giving us more books. Okay. Parang CSR nila. Oh, 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 yeah. So, okay. in that sense, nagiging cost-effective na and sustainable mm -hmm, yung mga libraries. Mm -hmm. Pero in order to be a patron of the library, kailangan bang magbayad? Usually, you no. Know, if it's a public library, all you do is fill up a library card mm -hmm. and uh, sustainable na po yun. Because, mm -hmm. uh, be thankfully nga, may batas na nga na, na sa Pilipinas na yung local governments like, have to uh, allot a budget, at least for a librarian, mm -hmm. and yung overhead. So, at uh -huh. least yun, sagot yeah. na yun ng LGA. Ah, so, may sweldo ang librarian. May sweldo yun. Okay, naka, hindi ito volunteer. Nakamandata na yun, yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Sige, okay. Wait, before we go, you know, more into your libraries and li the library renewal partnership, can you tell us more about yourself? Kasi parang, bakit <laughs> Naging advocacy mo ito. Yeah. I mean, your background suggests several degrees. Uh, an MBA from Georgetown University, an yeah. MA in International Relations from Cambridge, and an MA in Creative Writing from Oxford. Okay? Wow. I mean, <laughs> and you. of course, I mean, of course, education yeah. for you is, is an advocacy, I yeah. would think. No? Yes, Lisa. But it, I came to it the hard way because, as, mm -hmm. as, as I mentioned in 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 another arena is I had ADD and I still have adult ADD mm -hmm. and that is a learning disability that I was having a struggle with throughout elementary schools high school mm -hmm. and then pag tinitig sa college na diagnosed na ako so mm -hmm. yung ginawa ko po is like I just needed to have some quiet time mm -hmm. on my own to learn mm -hmm. and it's my experience of being in a public library mm -hmm. either dun nung nag exchange student ako sa Estados Unidos or dito sa Pilipinas na that really helped a lot. Mm -hmm. So naisip ko na well, if I had that experience mm -hmm. and I have a learning disability, mm -hmm. how much more another person who doesn't have that uh, impediment mm -hmm. can learn more in the mm -hmm. So yun yung karanasan ko and I wanted to share that experience with others, that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then nung nag masters nga ako sa UK, the, you know, in Oxford for example, mm -hmm. for every square mile, there are around 50 libraries. Mm -hmm. So you get spoiled for choice there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So naisip ko na Bakit wala tayong ganito? Kahit na may batas tayo. Mm -hmm, so I did mm -hmm. a paper mm -hmm. and I, we did that experiment. And so far, the experiment has been working. Mm -hmm. naman. But it's, it's coming from a personal experience of vulnerability. Yeah. Uh -oh. Na naisip ko na, if I can do it, other people can do it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to share that experience with other people. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. And so far, how many, I mean, how, how many partners do you have in oh, we, organizations? Yeah. No. That's the beautiful thing about it. We really believe in the Bayanian spirit. Mm -hmm. um, so it's an ecosystem of around 25 partners. 25 Every, already? Yes, uh -huh. and institutions like LBC who takes mm -hmm. care of bringing the books mm -hmm. to difficult places like Marawi, which mm -hmm. we just opened. Mm -hmm. uh, Rotary, which has mm -hmm. many branches around the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, even Zonta, mm -hmm. uh, we were with them. Um, yung mga ibang mga partners namin is mga publishers like Ateneo Press, mm -hmm. Adarna House, which mm -hmm. is the leading children's books publisher. Mm -hmm. uh, National Bookster has given us books before. Mm -hmm. So hindi ta kami naubusan ng mga either logistical requirements, sagot na yun ng mga transport companies, mm -hmm. bilang CSR nila, mm -hmm. yung mga surplus na books ng mga publishers na binibigay nila mm -hmm. sa amin, mm -hmm. may construction companies, yung RAE builders, they actually help us warehouse the books. Okay. So we don't actually have a running budget because of the generosity of our 25 partners. Mm -hmm. And okay, so, okay. hindi kami naubusan ng libro at saka hindi kami nahihilapang mag-transport ng books sa pinakaliblib na pook sa bansa. Okay. So, I'm sure maraming mga nakikinig sa atin, mga, mga bata, mga guro, uh, na baka in interesado silang magkaroon ng, um, ng silidaklatan sa kanilang mga lugar o kaya ay uh, uh, makontak kayo for, um, to, to give support, you know, whether it's a donation in books or, um, 
you know, in any, any kind of support. So, paano kayo makukontact? Meron ba kayong website? Meron ba kayong social media accounts? Sige, Kintin, sabihin mo na. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. In okay. fact, most of our new libraries are because of social media. Okay. So, we have a Facebook page, Library mm -hmm. Renewal, Part Renewal Partnership. Mm -hmm. We have a website, uh, librarypartners.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, typically, that's it. Or you can look for me on Facebook, Kintin Ose Pastrana. I have a response rate of five minutes. Uh -huh. <laughs> no? Uh -huh. <laughs> and we're always on social media trying uh -huh. to find out ano being, um, what's the next library that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So, ako, uh, very happy to note that you know our 800 and 800 first library is in Marawi, which needs it the most. Yeah. So, we're going to be focusing our efforts. So, if you want to help us, uh, we'd be very happy to mm -hmm. take your donations for mm -hmm. books and we'll transport them to our brethren and sisters in Marawi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Maraming maraming salamat, Kintin. And of course, we wish you all the best and may you have... Your 1,000th library very, very soon. Hopefully very soon. Yeah. Lisa, maraming salamat. To 200 na lang, di ba? 200 na lang. Okay. Konting, konting, konting na lang. You will get yeah, 1,000 soon. Yeah, Thank okay. you very much to Art Art and to you, Lisa. Uh, Thank you so much. We wish you all the best, siyempre. Thank naman. you po. Okay. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balirina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipino.